one of the other uh, decisions we have to make in deciding where we're going to put the implant is whether we're going to put it over or under the muscle. Each has its own benefits and uh, drawbacks. When putting an implant under the muscle, we are covering it with the extra layer of tissue, which is the muscle. So that gives it more of a natural look. Uh, the drawbacks is that that causes more dissection, so it can make the recovery a little uh, longer. In patients who are bodybuilders or patients who are with very high uh, activity level, that muscle can push on the implant as the patient moves and it's caused something called implant animation meaning as the patient is moving or doing their activity the implant can be pushed up and down. Uh, the implant over the muscle is now comparing to trying to hide a golf ball under a blanket versus under a comforter. The more tissue you have or the more thickness of layer that you have the easier it is to cover the implant. So when we put the implant over the muscle, there is less coverage and that therefore there is more chance of seeing the implant. This is the drawback. The advantage is it gives us more of a, uh, we don't have to dissect the muscle, and also it gives us more of a leeway to create more of a cleavage. So we can bring the implants a little further together than those with the muscle. Uh, so those are some of the decisions we have to we discuss with every patient and give her the drawbacks and benefits of, of each implant. In my practice, we more commonly use uh, implants under the muscle. Mm -hmm.